Okay, quick video here because I kind of just forgot to include it about two videos ago. Uh, but we need the ability to not only sign users in to the authentication console, but we also need the ability to delete and remove their authentication. Sorry I made this an extra video, but here we are. So let's just get it over with. All right, welcome back guys. We got one more quick authentication video. Before we begin, I just want to throw out there that there are a lot of other sign-in methods that I have not covered in this course. Specifically, sign-in with Facebook is pretty common. It's becoming less common these days for various reasons. I did not do Facebook because they require you to create an account in the Facebook developer portal, and that's a lot of work and annoyances that I didn't feel like dealing with right now. If a lot of people comment on this video that you want me to cover Facebook, I can definitely do that in the future. Same thing with phone. I did not cover phone. This is like getting an SMS to sign in. I didn't cover this because you need to deal with the APNS, Apple Push Notification Services, and you need to get certain certificates configured for that. And it's just not as straightforward as the ones that we just did. So personally, in my apps, I almost always stick with sign in with Apple. And then depending on the flow, I'll keep it anonymous. I hardly do email password because I don't like dealing with e email password myself. But anyway, these are all the methods that we can use. I guess you can do custom ones too. I've never done that. But feel free to comment below on this video if you want to see any of those. Otherwise, I think I covered the most popular ones. In this video, we're just going to wrap up this authentication process with one final function that we forgot, which is the delete user. I should say that I forgot. I don't think you guys forgot about it. And very simply, let's come back to our code here. Let's go to our authentication manager. We have a function to sign out. Let's create another function to delete user. Let's just call it delete. All right. In order to do this, we got to get the user. So we'll say guard let user equals auth dot auth dot current user else throw URL error, say bad URL. So this throws. And then we're going to call try await user dot delete. Supposed to be asynchronous because we need to await and then we can delete the user. All right. So let's call this from our app here. I'm going to go back to my settings view. So after we're already signed in, we have a button for log out. I'm going to create another button. This time let's actually create a button and use the role here. And the role is going to be destructive, which is generally a red button. So things like deleting your account or something that is destructive, you want to create it so it's red. So the user knows this is a very serious action. We're going to create the same action that we have here, down here. And the label, I'm just going to put text that says delete account. And then we obviously want to change this. So let's create a function in our view model called func delete. Try await authentication manager shared delete. And this will be async throws. All right. Uh, I'm going to make this view model dot delete account. Let's open up our app. I'm going to sign in anonymously. Let's look at our console here. I have a new anonymous account. It should be at the top. This one right here, J F Z. And then I'm going to delete the account. Looks like I spelled the word account wrong. Let's just fix that. And let's delete the account. If I reload the console here, that user ID is completely gone. We're never going to see it again. One thing that should be noted is that oftentimes the Firebase console will tell you that you need to re-authenticate before you're allowed to delete an account. So just like resetting the user's password or changing a user's email or password, Firebase wants to ensure that the user has authorization to delete their account. So most apps and what I would recommend for your app is essentially have this button delete account, but when they click it first show an alert or some sort of modal to the user that says, Hey, we're going to delete your account. This is absolutely permanent. You can't restore your data. There's no going back basically and let them confirm that they want to delete their account. And then if they confirm it, I would usually have them re-sign into their account so that they get re-authenticated and then delete the account. This firstly is going to help because sometimes Firebase requires us to do that. 
And secondly, it's going to ensure on your end that if the user is deleting their account, they are authorized to delete that account, right? It's not some other person on their phone who clicks the delete account button. It is the person who is then signing, signing in again to double check and that they have authorization. Well, again, once you delete that account, you're never getting that back. So be careful. So that is just the flow that I would do. But I will point out that if in your app, you have the ability for users to create accounts, you are required to have the ability for them to delete accounts, right? So if I Google it, the Apple developer guidelines requires anything after June 30th, 2022, all apps under the app store that support account creation must support account deletion. So if you're creating accounts, you also need to be able to delete accounts. The last thing I'm going to touch on, which we haven't done yet is for most users, when they create an account, when they get authenticated, you would then take their user ID and set that up, set up their user profile in your database. And we're going to do that in the next couple of videos. But when they delete an account right now, all we did was delete their authentication. We did not delete anything in a database. We don't even have a database yet. But if we set up a database and had a user profile, we would probably first want to delete their user profile on our database and then delete their authentication or vice versa. But you want to do both. Most of the time, you don't want to just do one or the other. All right, that's it for this video. This was a quick and easy one. And hope you guys are excited because we got a lot of exciting stuff in the next couple of videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick. This is Swivel Thinking, and I will see you in the next video.